What's going on, people? Mr. Mom, rolling it out on a Thursday night, guys. I want to make a quick video just because I got a couple things I'm thinking about, guys. First off, have some questions about this tank in particular, the 40 long, the CO2 that I'm running on it. Let me just start off by saying, guys, I'm still running DIY CO2 on this tank. Um, unfortunately, I don't want to be, guys. DIY CO2, it's it's got you know some advantages, I guess. It, it does deliver CO2 to some point, I guess, um, and it's cheap. Those are about its only advantages. Um, disadvantages are mainly it's it's almost impossible to be consistent with DIY CO2. I would say entirely impossible to be consistent with it, uh, really, to be honest with you. I mean, unless you're changing it every two days, which is unrealistic. So, I mean, I change mine like every five days, four or five days. Um, I change mine, and even that is, is fairly unrealistic for most people. I'm just kind of obsessive about it, but... Um, Either way, I mean, now especially that I've got high light, I upgraded the lighting on it, uh, 216 watts. Makes a big difference, guys, and it's really important when you're running high lights that you are real consistent with your CO2 dosing and also your um, any other kind of dosing that you're doing, your fur dosing or whatever. Um, and I actually got to get on a little bit, you know, a little bit better dosing regimen, uh, a little bit more consistent and tried and true uh, de uh, dosing method. Um, than what I've been doing currently. Um, but the main thing is is just upgrading to the, the pressurized CO2 so I can be more consistent with it and keep my levels consistent with the high light um, to avoid you know problems that we all know about that can come with inconsistencies with high light and CO2. So, um, you know, everything's growing good in this tank with the DIY CO2. It's just that, uh, you know, not good enough for me. So either way, this tank is gonna get rescaped, guys. It's getting rescaped. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different with it. It's still gonna have pearl weed carpet and everything. I'm just going to uh, change it a little bit. There's some just some just some things that I've been thinking about I wanted to do with it. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know how much more you'll see the tank with it looking like this. So I've got some more plants coming, a bunch of plants my sister ordered. Um, and she's nice enough to give me some of them and let me try them out and blah, blah, blah. She knows I'm going to grow them better than her. <laughs> That's messed up to say, guys. She's getting really good, and she's got uh, she's got her own little setup going, and she's she's got everything going, guys. She knows what she's doing. So but she was nice enough to order me some plants, so I got some plants coming in that I've been waiting for for a long time. You guys are going to see those when they come, of course. And it seems like everybody who, who got from the auction, except for one guy, that his stuff kind of got lost in the mail and we're dealing with him unfortunately but uh that's okay guys because uh, mr mom j flesh tanks when you buy something from us guys we stand behind our products people we stand behind our products 150 percent so um you know something like this happens or something gets lost in the mail or takes forever there's a problem with this product guys when he gets them you can be guaranteed that me and uh, J Flesh Tanks are going to make sure that's taken care of and, and he walks away happy with product people. That's what we're all about, guys, getting plants to the people, getting this community going, and getting people fired up about it. So you know how we roll, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's it about CO2. Like this tank in particular, let me go down here a little bit. 33 long. This is getting completely rescaped as well. Completely rescaped, guys. Um, I just gotta, you know, I gotta get the CO2 for it again. I'm gonna get a bottle where I can run both tanks off one bottle. Um, and then uh, this one's getting totally, totally torn down, completely torn down to bare minimum. The Ruminos Tetras, um, they're gonna get thrown in the 20 long, which I'm gonna do before I do this tank. I'm gonna get that tank scaped and done first. And then, uh, then I'll do this one. So, yeah, giddy about that, guys. And then uh, one more thing for your reefers. Free reefers, my protein skimmer. It's taking it a couple days, guys, but it's finally starting to collect some gunk and some garbage. Pretty giddy about it. Sucks though, because I got to unplug it to do a water change. So it's probably going to take it another couple days, or at least a day probably, to start skimming. Maybe it'll go a little faster than that, but it's starting to pull some garbage. And I don't even have anything in this tank yet. No corals, no fish, no nothing. Got some algae growing in the sand because I don't have enough current on there. But I got a pump and I ordered some some real pumps. This is a real piece of garbage. Garbage right there, garbage. But I got some good pumps coming, guys. So it's coming along. Restock is this weekend here in Denver, guys. Restock, pure fired up about restock. Um, me and Jay Flesh are gonna be going to that. We're gonna bring you some videos, guys. 
Reef stock protein skimmer doing its job. Tanks are going to get some giddiness work done to them. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the view. Um, thanks for spending a few minutes, guys. J Flesh Tanks, Mr. Mom Tanks. You know the rest. Peace.